Warning. It is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any HAL product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product's operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, lock out and tag out the vehicle, walk away, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Howell Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to operate the latest Heil automated side loader from our engineering team. New for 2020, the Command SST combines the proven Durapack body with a body mounted arm and Odyssey hydraulic controls to create an ASL that features a smooth arm cycle and simplistic maintenance. To learn more about the Command SST automated side loader, visit www.heil.com. First, let's go over the joystick and push button functions so that you know everything that they control. On a Command SST, the joystick actions are as follows. Right or 3 o'clock to extend the lift arm out. Left or 9 o'clock to retract the arm in. And forward or 12 o'clock to undump a can and lower the lift arm to the ground. The push buttons on the Command SST joystick are as follows. Right black push button. Grab or close. Auto lift. Press and hold this button to activate the grab or close and auto lift functions. Left black push button. Grab or open. Auto home. Press and hold this button to activate the grab or open and auto home functions. Blue push button. Pick height adjust. If during the attempt to pick a container, you need to adjust the pick height of the grabber head, press and hold the blue push button. Then move the joystick in one of the following directions. Back to raise the grabber head up, or forward to lower the grabber head down. The grabber head will return to the default pick height position shown on the display once the grabber close function has been utilized. Orange push button. Can shake, pick angle adjust. If the arm is in the up, in, and dump position, then pressing and holding the orange push button will activate the can shake feature. This feature is only active while the button is pressed and will give you three can shakes per button press. If during the attempt to pick a container, you need to adjust the pick angle of the grabber head, press and hold the orange push button, then move the joystick in one of the following directions. Right to rotate the grabber head up, or left to rotate the grabber head down. The grabber head will return to the default pick angle position shown on the display once the can has been grabbed. Red push button. Activate head rotation. This feature is great for retrieving a can that has been knocked down comfortably and safely from the cab of the truck. Press and hold the red push button for 5 seconds to activate the ability to rotate the lift head freely. Then use the blue or orange push buttons to rotate the grabber head up or down. When finished, press and release the red push button to recenter and level the grabber head. Console main keypad. Pump. Turns the hot shift PTO on and off. The pump is on when the green light is eliminated and off when the red light is eliminated. Pack extend. When pressed, the light will begin flashing green. The packer will then extend and complete a packing cycle. When the cycle is complete, the light will return to solid blue. The following are all momentary push buttons. Tailgate raise. When pressed and held, the light will turn green and the tailgate will raise. When released, the light will remain a solid blue. Tailgate lock. 
When pressed and held, the light will turn green and the tailgate will lock. When released, the light will remain solid blue. If equipped, top door open. When pressed and held, the light will begin flashing green and the top door will open. When released, the light will remain solid blue. Pack retract. When pressed and held, the light will begin flashing yellow and the packer will retract. When released, the light will remain solid blue. Tailgate lower. When pressed and held, the light will turn green and the tailgate will lower. When released, the light will remain solid blue. Tailgate unlock. When pressed and held, the light will turn green and the tailgate will unlock. When released, the light will remain solid blue. If equipped, top door close. When pressed and held, the light will begin flashing green and the top door will close. When released, the light will remain solid blue. Console supporting functions keypad. Strobe light. Turns the strobe lights on and off. The strobe lights are on when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Auxiliary light. Turns the auxiliary work lights on and off. The auxiliary work lights are on when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Coordinated mode. The coordinated lift mode is on when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Note, if coordinated lift mode is not enabled, all joystick functions, including the joystick push buttons, will be disabled. Above below. The above below grade function is activated when the light is eliminated red and off when the light is eliminated green. If the light is eliminated yellow, then the above below grade function is off and the manual head control has been activated. If the light is flashing red, then the above below grade function and the manual head controls are both activated. Warning: When the above below grade functions are enabled, you can cause serious component damage. Always operate the lift arm with extreme caution when these functions are on. Hopper light. Turns the hopper light on and off. The hopper lights are on when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Lift light. Turns the lift light on and off. The lift light is on when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Note, if the lift light is in the off position with the PTO on, RPMs less than 1,000, road speed less than 15 miles per hour, and the service brake applied, the lift light will automatically activate. Once you have left any of the above mentioned conditions, the lift light will remain on for an additional 10 seconds before automatically turning off. This automatic light feature also applies if you put your unit in neutral, engage the parking brake, and utilize any lift arm function. Spear mode. Turns the spear mode on and off. Spear mode has been activated when the green light is eliminated and off when the blue light is eliminated. Stow position. Press and hold this button to move the lift arm to the stowed position. If the light is eliminated green, then you're in the stowed position. If the light is eliminated magenta, then your lift arm is in the work position. Manual push button controls. These momentary push buttons can be used to manually operate the lift arm, but are mainly used for the lift arm calibration process. Note, to enable the manual controls push buttons, coordinated lift mode must be first turned off. Now that you know what each feature does, let's go over the steps that you'll need to know while on route. Warning. Be sure the area around the can is clear before operating the lift arm. Make sure there is adequate overhead clearance before you raise the lift arm. Contact of the unit with overhead electrical lines is dangerous. Serious injury or death may occur. Remember to observe all danger and warning hazard alerts. Move the unit to a position that is best to load the refuse with the command SST lift arm. Use the newly designed container grid lines on your monitor to help line up the grabber path with the can. Remember, clear the area of all unnecessary people before you operate the controls. If equipped, make sure the hopper cover is open. You can damage the unit if you try to dump a can when the hopper cover is closed. Pull the system power switch up and push the pump button. Turn on the coordinated lift mode using the push button panel control. 
Ensure that your foot is on the service brake while in gear and move the joystick to the right to extend the lift arm out and view the container grid lines on the monitor to line up the grabbers with the can. When the can is in the center of the grabbers, press and hold the grabber close push button on the joystick to close the grabbers and engage the auto lift function. Auto lift will move the lift arm up and then retract into the dump position. When in the dump position, release the push button. If you have any stubborn refuse that won't come out, then you can use the orange push button on the joystick to initiate up to three can shakes. If more than three are needed, just press and hold the button again to initiate another sequence of can shakes. Note, you can release the button at any point to stop the can shake. When the refuse has finished falling into the hopper, push the joystick forward to undump and lower the can back to the ground. After the can has been fully lowered, move the joystick to the right to extend the lift arm out. Next, press and hold the grabber open push button to fully release the can and to initiate an auto home return function. The lift arm will move back to the work position and then you're ready to make your next pick. If you're traveling to your disposal site or going to be in transit between your next stops, press the stow position push button on the control panel to fully stow the lift arm. If you're working in a narrow space and need to be precise with your lift grabber movement, then be sure to use the Command SST's Spear Mode feature. Spear Mode is great if you're in a tight spot that requires your grabbers to be in a default half-closed position when moved from the stow or work positions. Turn this feature on by pushing the Spear Mode push button on the control panel, and then follow the same operating instructions we just provided to complete a dump cycle. Now let's say that you have a can that's sitting on an incline or a decline that usually causes you to have to get out of the cab and move the can to a different position so the lift arm can reach it, right? Well now you can use one of the Command SST's great features to adjust the pick height and angle on the lift arm grabber head, all from the comfort of the cab. First, after your grabber head is outside of the body, press and hold the blue push button on the joystick to adjust the pick height. For cans on an incline, move your joystick to the back position to move the grabber head upwards as much as six inches. For cans on a decline, move your joystick to the forward position to move the grabber head downwards as much as minus six inches. Next, you'll press and hold the orange push button on the joystick to adjust the pick angle. For cans on an incline, move your joystick to the right to rotate the grabber head upwards as much as six degrees. For cans on a decline, move your joystick to the left to rotate the grabber head downward as much as minus three degrees. Once you've adjusted your lift arm's grabber head to the appropriate height and angle, you can make your pick. When you initiate the grabber close and auto lift functions, your pick height and pick angle adjustments will return to the set default positions. If you need to return the can to the exact position that you picked it from, you will need to readjust the pick height and pick angle again. If you do so, your adjustments will return to the set default positions after you initiate the grabber release and auto home functions. Next, let's say you've got a can that was knocked down. Usually you would have to get out of the truck to stand it back up, right? Well, now you can do all of this while remaining safely in the cab. After moving your grabber head out of the stowed position, Use the blue and orange push button functions to adjust the grabber head pick height and pick angle and move into the best position to grab the can and pick it up. For those cans that are a little more difficult to reach, you can use the activate head rotation function. First, press and hold the red push button on the joystick for five seconds to give yourself the ability to rotate the lift arm's grabber head freely. Press the orange push button on the joystick to rotate the grabber head up or press the blue push button to rotate it down. Then move your lift arm into the best position to grab the can and rotate it back to the upright position using the blue and orange push buttons. Now let's go over how you can adjust some of the new Command SST features using your Heil Insight display. From the main screen, you can access the Selecto Pack, Pick Angle, and Pick Height adjustment screens. When Spear Mode has been activated, you will also have the option to access the Adjustment screen. 
The Select O Pack adjustment screen allows you to adjust the default number of cans you pick, ranging from 0 to 5, before the Auto Pack is engaged. This is a standard feature that allows you to automatically cycle the Auto Pack after a predetermined number of lift cycles. Use the up and down arrows to select the appropriate choice for you, and then press the OK to save and return to the main screen. The Spear Mode Adjustment Screen allows you to set the default set points from 4,000 to 8,000 in increments of tenth of an inch, with 4,000 equaling 4 inches and 8,000 equaling 8 inches. Use the up and down arrows to make the selection, and then press OK to save and return to the main screen. The Pick Angle Adjustment Screen allows you to adjust the default pick angle from 6 degrees to minus 3 degrees in 1 degree increments. Use the up arrow to increase the pick angle and the down arrow to decrease the pick angle. When finished, press the OK button to save your settings and return to the main screen. The Pick Height Adjustment Screen allows you to adjust the default pick height from 6 inches to minus 6 inches in 1 inch increments. Use the up arrow to increase the pick height and the down arrow to decrease the pick height. When finished, press the OK button to save your settings and return to the main screen. You can access the secondary screen by pressing the down arrow. From here, you can access the hydraulic system warm-up flow, hydraulic system warm-up temp, and grabber pressure adjustment screens. The hydraulic system warm-up flow adjustment screen allows you to adjust the default warm-up flow rate from 850 to 1150 in one milliamp increments. This is a great feature for those operating in colder climates. Use the up and down arrows to make your selection and then press OK to save and return to the secondary screen. The hydraulic system warm-up temp adjustment screen allows you to adjust the default warm-up temperature from 70 degrees to 110 degrees in 1 degree increments. This is another great feature for those in colder climates. Use the up and down arrows to make your selection and then press OK to save and return to the secondary screen. The Grabber Pressure Adjustment Screen allows you to adjust the default grabber pressure from 1000 to 1800 PSI in 10 PSI increments. Use the up and down arrows to make your selection, and then press OK to save and return to the secondary screen. To go back to the main screen, simply hit the escape button or the up arrow. That's it! Now you know how to operate the Command SST Automated Side Loader. If you still have any questions, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time, here at the Service Shack.